Hey everyone, so in this video, Christmas came early. So let's just jump right to it. I stumbled across a pre-release piece of software that uses artificial intelligence to fix your stars. Now, whoa, 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 before you click off saying, that's an abomination, really, take a look in some of the corners of your pictures and think, could I maybe not get a little bit of star fixing on that to get a little bit rounder stars? Or maybe your entire photo, in which case it can do it. And it's getting better every single day and it's shocking. So you might be wondering, what is this software? Well, it's called Star Fixer. And yes, despite the uh, obvious name issues, it literally fixes your stars. And it's under development by a man in Italy called Filippo. And he has set up a website to test this called starfixer.org. And basically what you do is you upload a photo onto the website and then you wait for it to get processed, which arguably can take a little bit of time. I've found generally between five and 20 minutes. However, depending on if uh, the uh, website gets slammed with a bunch of photos, it can take a little bit longer. It then kicks out a high resolution image, which has a watermark on it. Um, and the reason for the watermark is because if you'd like to get it dewatermarked, um, Filippo is asking for a small donation of two euros for each photo in order to help with the development cost. Because right now, Star Fixer, at the time making this video, is at 0 0.9 uh, release. Also, since all the uh, processing is done on his server, computer, or whatnot, um, there is definitely a certain amount of electricity cost to running it continuously to keep pumping out these photos. So. It's not a huge fee, and then you get a high resolution photo without the watermark. So obviously with the watermark, you can always have a look at it and decide, do you want to spend the two euros? And then if you decide to spend the two euros, you do get the photo without the watermark. Now, one of the upgrades that he is working with is that he has it where he's going high, medium, and low uh, aggressiveness on the AI, because some photos do really well when there's high aggressive, and some photos only need a little bit of star fixing. So the low aggressive is a better choice. So. I have a couple photos here that I'm going to be showing you and you can sort of see what they can do and decide for yourself if this is something you'd be interested in. So the first one I'm going to start with is the Rosette Nebula. Here's the original photo and then I'm going to swap to the high resolution photo. Next I have this nice picture of the Pallades and I'm sort of going through the different settings from low, medium to high. And finally, I have a side-by-side -side of the Great Orion Nebula. Um, on the left is the original. On the right is the star fix version. And as you can sort of see on here, not every photo is going to necessarily benefit from this. So it is really good that you do get to see a preview before you decide to spend the money to improve the photo. I definitely am quite excited about it because I actually looked at it and said, yeah, I have some older photos back in the day which were like, hey, this is a great photo, but the stars weren't perfectly round. Um, I didn't really own a true astrograph at that time, but the photos are really good and there's a lot of data there. So having an AI artificial intelligence system actually go back and be able to say, hey, I can fix some of these old photos and maybe make them you know, presentable um, besides some of my later work is definitely a value for me. And again, the two euro donation is peanuts compared to the hours I would spend trying to fix that in like Pixinsight or Photoshop. Now there is one slight disadvantage for the software right now. As it is pre-released, the website is relatively unprotected. In other words, if you upload a photo, um, anyone who knows your code for your particular page is going to be able to access that photo. Anyone could theoretically pay the two euros to Filippo to remove the watermark potentially any photo on there. So there's a little bit of work that he still needs to do on sort of that. But again, it's one of the things that you'd have to be able to guess the actual uh, URL, which is a bunch of random numbers and symbols, but also who really is going to want to go and steal your astro photo that you could like theoretically do if you posted it anywhere online. So just a quick note about that, because I know some people are very protective of their astrophotography, and uh, if you would like to, definitely check out Filippo's website, starfixer.org or starfixer.net or starfixer. I can't remember at this exact moment. It's gonna be posted right here and in the description below. So 
that's sort of uh, this video. Thank you for watching today's video. Um, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. It is part of my Vlogmas uh, daily vlogging in December 2020. So I hope you enjoy this format. If there's any comments, criticisms, praises, praises, please leave them below in the comments. And uh, yes, I will see you in the next video, which I'm going to work on right now because I need to get it out tomorrow.